Hello there, and well, here we are with another deck profile, and this time we got Tatsum's, um, well, Phantom Knight deck profile. So, well, you got top four in the OTS qualifier. Sorry. Yeah, the OTS championship, a uh, new type of event organized by Konami. Uh, yeah, I played PK. It is arguably just the best deck of the format. I've been playing mm -hmm. this deck for uh, basically ever since this format came to be because like with with dpe out it's just i i really cannot find any reason to play any other deck besides this because it just does the most unfair stuff um with the least amount of resources and the most fun amount of follow-up yeah well and it just gets better with the wave tokens coming out exactly so it's gonna be a lot of fun so i wanted to get the prep for that and to kind of start working on the deck a little bit and uh, yeah i've been enjoying it um got fourth place at the OTS championship. I should have mm -hmm. won, but I like horribly misplayed uh, oh, yes. against Raphael. I basically won the game, but I mm -hmm. just stopped thinking and then I made some weird plays and then it's like, oh wait, now I'm losing. So oh, very well, nice. It do be like that sometimes. But yeah, I guess exactly. let's hop right into the main deck. All right, cool. So PK ratios are, I guess, provine, refined as for now. Um triple throne skills. Triple boots. I used to play two boots, but uh, it's really good at two, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, double cloak, one gloves. And that's basically it for the PKs. I play the tour guide engine just because it's so free, just normal summon tour guide, especially in a format where nobody really runs that many hand traps anymore. Yeah. Um, and even if they ash it or impermit one extender and you're still doing combo. Crop, Seer, Libic. Now, Libic is a little bit controversial in the community. I honestly just do not think there's any reason not to play this card. If you draw it, it's fine. If you draw any of these, it's also like just good. Like you can combo if you draw any of these. I understand that. But why would you like not? I, I, I see no reason why not to play it. Yes, yeah, um, I totally agree on that. Uh, like I play Libic myself and I would never cut it, honestly. Yeah, it's it's like it's not necessary. I I understand, but I mean, why why not? If you draw it, it's literally just extender. So yeah, uh, one Kagamucha. I would like to bump this up to three, but or to two or three. But we are already over forty, so mm -hmm. it was one of the few cards that I had at one. A uh, one junk forward. The reason why I don't run a second Kagamucha, but I do run this, is because it's a different name. If you open two Kagamucha, it's kind of bad. So. A uh, one wielder, a uh, one tracker for the generic extending. The last monster, Dasher, Celestial, and Sight. So this deck has a combo. Um, I'll explain it when we go to the extra deck where you play around droplets. And I know it's like super boring to just summon Sight. I understand, but it's so good. Yeah. You know, I like winning, so I just play it, I guess. Um, triple, triple tech talents. Oh, I just noticed I'm missing a card. Um, I play triple droplets as well. Mm -hmm. There you go. One, two, three. I see go second slash go first cards. Droplet is just more viable than Dark Ruder. This yeah. could be Dark Ruder if you're really scared and like into that mind game. But I just think that Droplet is just as fine and Talents is super good because on these type of events, it kind of doesn't make sense to play the most optimal deck because your opponent obviously doesn't care if you run the most optimal deck and they're still going to play hand traps even though they're not that good. So I think that Talents is just completely fine for like regional level play. Um, Triple Fusion Destiny, double e -Telly. Then a lot of one-offs, called by Rhoda and Beach Hooper Descent. Mm -hmm. uh, just another name. It's an extender. It is funny. I like it. It's cool, especially because it really is broken with like droplets. You can activate this and then chain droplets, send it away, and still have a body. Um, but it did come up multiple times where this was not a level three on the field, where it was a, like a monster for an XE. Yeah. So a little bit up for debate. If that's the correct thing. Maybe that would be the Kagamucha Knight in the future. Um, triple Fog Blade, one Shade Brigadin, mm -hmm. which only really comes off if you get disrupted. So it's also a card to look into the future. Um, the only correct second card to play is Wing, because if you play Wing over Sword, then one Phantom Knight plus one Extender is full combo that plays around Droplet, and you use Wing in that combo. 
And the last card's order. Because we uh, have to play good cards in the deck. We gotta play the broken one-offs. Exactly. For the ED, Link Spider never summoned it, which is the same with the shape we got in. It's just kind of weird. I don't know. Back in the day, it was came like so much, and now it's like I don't know, never using it or something. Mm-hmm. Kind of weird. Uh, Terabini, obviously. Dokta, obviously. Verte, obviously. Bardish. Then I play Unicorn Coral Sword because when playing this deck, I did notice that doing damage or high amounts of damage is sometimes difficult. So having Boros Sword there is just for easy OTKs. Yeah. Apollosa. Then Destiny Hero, Phoenix Enforcer, Zeus, Downert. Then the card that I changed in my extra deck is Time to Redoer. This was IP before. Um, but if you have full combo and Fusion Destiny in hand, you can make this instead of Verte, which is really cool. Yeah. That's quite interesting. I don't know why. Yeah, it's just a dark rank four. There are more you can play. But I really like this guy. <laughs> yeah, if you open one PK plus one mm-hmm. extender, then and fusion destiny, then you have like your full combo and a redoer. That's kind yeah. of free. And er- earlier I used to just make Verte mm-hmm. because okay, so I'll 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 do the rest and then I'll explain the combo. Double sure. breaks for and the beer. So the entire thing, theory behind this deck is to end on this board. Um, Bardish, Verte, and Dacta. Yeah. And for the optimal setup, you have a fog blade or a wing in the grave and a break sword. So you make Dacta in the comp with uh, Leviere and Cherubini. Then you summon Ancient Cloak from Leviere. You boost Bardish attack. Dacta triggers getting sight. Then you summon the Verte by overlaying the uh, cloak and another rank three for break sword. Break sword pops itself. You summon this guy back, and then you mm-hmm. have this. And then in the back row, you have the sight. So you summon the DPE. Then in the end phase, you destroy Verte and DPE. DPE triggers. So in your opponent's turn, your field looks like this. Uh, what you do is you banish Fog Blade in the in the draw phase. Summon break sword. Bardish pops sight. So here they can attempt to negate. Bardish, that's fine. DPE yeah. comes back and you can just destroy Sight. What happens a lot is Sight gets destroyed, Sight gets summoned, and people negate Sight. And they're like, oh, okay, uh, I guess I win. And then you're, okay, that's fine. So standby phase, DPE returns, DPE effect, destroy Sight and Dakta. Dakta is a second effect. When it is destroyed, it doesn't matter how, you get to summon an artifact back from the graveyard, it depends. And Sight triggers again, because Sight is not once per turn. Well, um, Fat active. This combo is literally a PK plus an extender. Mm-hmm. Always. And you like with the silent boots, you can just add wing, set wing, and then in the draw phase, wing on the Bardish, banish wing, summon it back. And it's the same if yeah. you don't open like ins- insane. So uh in the tournament itself. It actually happened. Round one, I played against Heroes. He dropleted the site, and I was like, okay, summon DPE, destroy both. And he kept <laughs> picking up my cards, like, is this something you can do? And I was like, yep. Oh, God. Um, it Poor comes guy. up a lot. On the region I played, I did it, like, four times. On the event that I just played, I did it, like, three times. It's like, it always happens. It's su- such a good, consistent combo. Um, so yeah, for the side deck, um, I played Token Collector. Because I've only played two because I had last minute saw there were two Sword Soul players and I was like, I don't know what to do against that deck, so I decided <laughs> this. And then Suffer completely played around it, so that was nice. Um, Triple Lens, yeah. Just the best hand trap of the format, I think, right now. Um, triple Lightning Storm, Triple Dark Rooter to round off the going second cards. That reboots against back row. And then I think this format with everyone maining Dark Ruler and like droplets, like you always know that they will have it. And even though you can play around um like a chalice or a droplet, if you just shotgun this card in the draw phase, you look at their hand, you insta win the game. Always. Either when they do have two disruptions, you just shuffle back their starter and they still can play. And if they only have one disruption and they chain it, then you still have combo, of course, because DPE comes back. So it's like always a win. If you have just 
the normal hand and you can combo through like hand traps and you can set this card it's an instant win yeah um it's just just nice it happens three times on the events just set this and then just like snipe a card and even if you don't have a good hand or you do get interrupted you could just set this and have free information and banish the best card from your hand yeah point of the red lotus most broken card in the deck all um, right so you want break uh, like matchups real quick or yeah i was about to ask like what would you say are like your hardest matchups or like your easiest matchups i think like because you run droplets in the main deck you can basically play through anything um because of the power of bardish and break sword you can also kind of play through traps mm -hmm. like going first you will almost always win uh even though they like they play like a bad deck the dbe will just like destroy back row if it's a trap deck and sight doesn't really do anything mm -hmm. thunder is kind of difficult especially when going uh second it's really really difficult even after siding so that's something that i do have to look into but next to that everything is beatable if you just draw all the good cards yeah um round one i played heroes i comboed once then i comboed twice after he let me go first again so <laughs> it was pretty much gg uh round number two i played against oh what the heck was it but i played against at ignister um kind of difficult for this deck to deal with but i won mm -hmm. um you you cannot out that link monster <laughs> except with moral sword <laughs> which is really awkward but uh, i managed to win um match number three was against suffer uh who was playing sword soul and i beat him R match number four was against rafael nevin and he played bird up and i sh i should have won but uh misplays and then yeah. the last round was against the heroes again and i beat that guy as well so um i only dropped two games besides like the match against rafael that was against suffer when he went first and that was against Attic Nister when he went first game one because after signing I before signing there's nothing really I can do against that monster. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah, against Raphael I lost like two games. That's it. So overall, pretty happy with the deck. Uh, all the other matches were 2 0s really quick as well. This deck is always like done within 30 minutes. Super yeah. nice. All right. Yeah. Um guys, subscribe to Tatsa, leave me a follow oh. on Twitch, and well, would you like to say anything in the end? No, thank you for getting me on. Um, it's just such an unfair deck. I, I, it's so much fun to play as well, but it's it's really whenever I play play a test against friends, it's always just like ha 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 sight. <laughs> they they scoop because they can't win if I go first and going second. Like you can play through field, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, but yeah. Um, great potential for the deck. Gonna keep working on it, and uh, yeah, thank you for having me on. Well, thank you for being here, and well, guys, if you liked it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and well, see you again next time. Bye-bye.